Hey guys, Moose here. Welcome back to another episode of Life is Feudal Forest Village. We are hoping to get our apiary up and running. It is in progress right now up here. Just trying to carry wood to it. We have enough resources, so we should be fine. Just going to take some time to build it. And then we'll have yet another thing to spend time on during the summer months, which we do not really have the bandwidth to deal with right now, so we're going to try and figure out how to handle that. Let's pause real quick, because I have some issues here, clearly. I still have gatherers and farmers working in negative 4 degree weather in late fall, so that's not correct. Alright, what do we want to do here? We need ore, definitely, so that's going to go 12. And then... Let's get a couple builders, and let's get some more stone as well. Six seems reasonable. And at that point, I think we're going to do wood with everyone else. As we unpause here. Yeah, probably going to be wood. Alright, I'm pretty happy with what we have. Cow died in an animal attack. Well, if I could see what the hell was going on, that would be somewhat easier. Well, we'll be able to see soon. There we go. Must be that wolf. Well, that's going to happen. It's not the worst thing. Wait. Oh, hello. How'd you get in here? Listen, you little shit. Can I move? There we go. All right. Well, a wolf got in. That's not great. I might want to move this or put another one down here. Yeah. Let's do that. Oh, damn it. Alright, well, we'll do it when I can actually see again. Glare is freaking out of control in this game, as I've said many times. I'm sure they'll try and fix that in an upcoming patch. It's definitely a very obvious issue. Any playtesting whatsoever in the winter would make it abundantly clear. So, do we want to build more houses? I'm thinking, yeah. Because look at our food situation. We're totally set. Like, we do not have food issues, and that's kind of the only factor we need to worry about here. Otherwise, we can just go do whatever. Alright, let's get this done. Yep, I think I'm pretty sure I placed that correctly. So I'll let them build that. I'll do a couple more builders and I'll just put one hunter on it. Should be plenty. Builders will get to it when they get to it. They're all working up here. Actually, let's go for 10 builders just to get this stuff done. And we will go from there because it looks like... Hi, wolf. Fuck you. Get away from my pigs. Definitely looks like we're having some issues here, so... I don't want to risk any of that nonsense going on. One more. There we go. Take two of the builders off, and now we should be okay. That should solve our problems, pretty much. Get us a little bit more meat, maybe. Not that we care particularly, but... It'll... it should work. Does it matter in an apiary? I don't think it matters in an apiary. I think we're just okay. We are going to need more road, though. Alright. There we are. Alright, and that should give them faster walking to and from the apiary. Let me put housing here, actually, to get people a little closer to this area. But I'm not sure if I want to do that or not. We'll have to see. Uh, I think we are due to cut these trees down. So let's get that going. Good 550 or so wood out of that, which is good because we're starting to run kind of low. Alright, so this is actually a little concerning. Or not concerning, but we may not be able to staff this, because it's 12 people. That's a large number. 
so we'll see how this goes, but I have some concerns, to say the least. Uh, milk and eggs are not really... We're getting them, we're using them. They're definitely getting used, it's just we don't have that many. Alright, so what do we want to grow? Gathers for sure are going to happen, I don't think we have an issue there. And then I think we probably don't do any potatoes this year, and we go more for... No flax, no oats, no hay. Do we just not do any farming? Let's think about it. Maybe I want to do oats. Or hay. I don't think I... Well, I'm a little worried about hay, actually. Maybe I do ho oats and hay. Three and three. Hunter starved to death. Okay, well, you're a little stupid then. That's not a great sign, but I'm going to blame the hunter for that one. Charcoal's chugging along. We're actually doing really well on the on the metal and charcoal front. I may choose to take people off. I don't think we need to worry about that as much as we are. But really, if I did that, I'd probably only take the, uh, the blacksmith off which is not really going to make much of a difference, so... Yeah... I don't know. Nearby trees and plants help, honey. Okay, so... Probably over here I'll do... Maybe I can... You know what? Let's see what we can do here. Well, first of all, let's do... Like this. even that out a little. What is this? Oh, it's a rock. Okay. It looked like a hot bun or something. Very weird. Okay, it's early spring. Temperature's still negative four, though. I'm thinking... You guys are done. You guys are done. I'm gonna let you work for a little while longer. I'm going to pause real quick to do that. And I'm going to say... Let's do this. See what happens. Just see what happens. Because I don't know how much you can get rid of ocean. It's clearly a lot of work. But they're doing it quickly, and there's a lot of them doing it. So maybe this is going to work? our land reclam reclamation activity, which is gonna require smoothing again, but that's that's fine. We don't need to worry about that. Well, maybe it won't require smoothing. I'm not sure how they're doing this. Are they lowering this side and raising this side? Is that what's happening? It's a little hard to tell. Okay, well, I guess I'll just take a look when it finishes and see what it's, what it's doing. We're still, it's spring, it's negative four. What the hell is going on with the weather? It's a very, very, very cold year. Snowing in the fall, snowing in the spring, snowing, snowing, snowing. Yeah, this is actually... I mean, they're getting rid of the water, kind of, but... I need more than that. Okay, here we go. Let's get the ball rolling here. I'm not going to worry about flax. Flax is a non-issue. Get the gatherers working. Go full tilt on the apiary. I don't have enough people. Oh, right, because I have eight builders pointlessly. Okay. Let's stick with that for now. See how we feel. I think we're okay. I have six people. I could do one or two more farms. I don't really feel like I need to. Let's see. Probably going to have to... Yeah. This is not going to be correct. Please finish. Like, quickly, though. Because this is getting really ugly. Like, I don't like where this is going at the moment. Yeah, that's not correct. You guys fucked this up some.
No, dude. Okay, so that that's how that tool works. Interesting. Okay, this works. Hopefully. It's going to be a shitload of work, but... This seems to be more effective. Was this always here? Did I just never notice this tool before? Okay, well, I think they're working on it. It's less work now, so... Hopefully that'll, that'll come about and we'll get some nice new farmland to use. That would be nice. We could build some orchards here. Are we harvest? Yes, we are harvesting honey already. That is actually really good. I'm probably going to say let's do a honey pie. At least one. And then what about fruit? We'll do fruit. We have milk, so what the hell. I mean, does this seem like it's producing a lot of honey? I can't tell. Like, we had... It, it spiked, like, really quickly. We had, like, 60 or 70 in inventory just sitting there, so I'm wondering... Wow, now it just jumped to 86. Holy shit. It's pretty good. I mean... It's only running in the summer, which is clearly a major downside, but... That's pretty substantial. Eight per is pretty... You know, that's significant. Now, is this going to outproduce a farm? I sincerely doubt it. But... Especially, like, per... Per individual. There's no way. It's just not going to happen. But, having said that, this still seems like it's pretty solid. I mean, we're building an inventory of it, and that's more than I can say for most of our food sources, so... It's interesting, to say the least. Yeah, we're full up. Um, really considering building more housing. And I might just go for another upgraded hostel. Because I... Why not, right? I don't think we're going to have a crash. Honestly. <clears throat> We've got the food production. I mean, we're so, like, efficient now. I'm not really worried about going crazy with the population. Let's actually do that. Because we're going to need more people in order to satisfy um, our workforce when we do the orchard. So let's get this going. I'd really prefer if you guys worked on this, but this is fine too, I guess. Now, I'll have to let the honey run for a couple years, because I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. Because it, it could be really good. It's just not building... I really want to see it get up to a couple hundred this year, if possible. But it doesn't appear like that's going to be happening. I mean, still, this is solid. It seems to be doing quite well, but... Summer only, and also 12 people to make this happen is not, not a great look at the moment. Yeah, it's, that'll be put out, no problem. And even if it's not, honestly, losing the chickens is not the worst thing in the world. We could probably, honestly, at this point, only use our farms for... Yeah, you guys are harvesting, right? You guys should also be harvesting. We could honestly probably get away with just using our uh, farms for food. I mean, not for food, but for animal feed and nothing else. And we would probably be pretty okay. Is there a... I'm going to choose to assume that that was a one-off chicken getting killed by an animal. I don't know that for a fact, but I'm going to assume that that was the case. So this is nice. Aligning it to the same height, I think, has worked, and then we could just do that here as well. It's pretty flat. Pretty damn flat. And it's not even done yet. So, it's not even close to done either, so... Hmm. 
So we're definitely doing an orchard right next to this. There's no question there. I think that's going to be a big factor. Why didn't I have this facing south? That was perhaps not intelligent. Um, nah, you know what? It's fine. They're going to the barns. It keeps them close to these barns. It's fine. Almost at 100 honey in storage, but... Again, I'd really like to see this get even higher. So far, I'd, I'd have to say I'm probably not satisfied with how much it's giving us. I'd like to see a lot more out of that. But I understand. I get why it's only this much. It's probably... It could probably get overpowered pretty quickly. Because it seems to... It's producing... Well, here's my theory. If you have a farm, you have to wait for crops to hit maturity before you can harvest it and gain food. So if you run out of food in the winter, it's not just an issue of, um, oh, well, as soon as spring hits, I'm good. If you're getting your food from farms, you actually have to wait until the end of the year, pretty much, to get the food to start harvesting. Pretty much you're going to see it in fall, unless you have a, like a fast-growing crop like cabbage, and even then, because of the timing, you're probably still waiting for fall, because you need 5 degrees Celsius to get started. With honey, however, you're getting it all year. I mean, you're getting it throughout the spring, summer, and, win and fall. You're not waiting for a harvest. It's just continually being produced. So that's probably a pretty significant factor, I think that would in entice the developers to balance it slightly differently. That would be my guess, at least. I could be completely mistaken, but that's how I see it, basically. Anyway, let's do a little more here. Let's get it all the way out. I can't really see what I'm selecting here, so I'm just gonna kinda try to get everything. And then do it like that. I think that'll work. Give us some more land. Which is going to be very valuable. We could grow trees on this. We could do orchards. We're probably going to do orchards. But there's a lot we could do with that land. That we didn't have before. And in retrospect, if I was sticking with this area, I probably would ex just build off. Like terraform off into the coast. Or off into the ocean. Which is a little silly. Maybe the game shouldn't let you do that, but what do you have? Rabies? Alright, that's fine. Maybe the game shouldn't let you do that, but I don't think it's that big of a deal, to be honest. Alright, we got two teenagers growing up. That's good. <coughs> Doesn't really do anything to give it for us at this time. It's mostly just going to get people working over here. Which is fine. We need that. It's definitely something that needs to be done, so I'm not really complaining about it. Uh, where is our ore here? Alright, we still got a pretty good amount there. We're definitely burning through it pretty fast. Yeah, we're we're generating a substan- Ooh, what's going on? All of you have rabies. Why do you have rabies? All right, we're at 150 honey. That's pretty good, but it's gonna, I guarantee that's not gonna last the summer, or it's not gonna last the winter. There's zero chance, so that's not great. It's probably fine, though. Yeah, I mean, it's not like we're gonna build another apiary. That is what it's called, right? Yeah. Is that actually the word for it, apiary? I thought that was more of like a a bird thing. I'll have to look it up. That is a lot of people with rabies. Kind of concerned about why that happened, but if as long as it doesn't happen again, it's fine. And the nice thing is we're getting some tree. Maybe, I wonder, do apiaries encourage the growth of trees and plant life around them? Because these we didn't used to have trees here. Or has it just grown in over time? I don't think it just came up this last season. I think it's been here for a little bit, so probably it doesn't have anything to do with the apiary. But it would be kind of cool if, if having this encouraged plant growth in the vicinity. Though I wonder what kind of radius this has, because really the bees would go pretty far to get... Like, going over here totally makes sense. They'd probably 
irritate the animals a bit, but they could totally come down here. It wouldn't cause issues, I don't think. In real life, I mean. In the game, I have no clue. It's a video game. Very different. You have no idea how it works. Yeah, that fire's already put out. I was gonna say it's gonna get put out very quickly because the there's so many wells around here, but obviously that actually happened, so... With that, we are actually done with today's episode, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you'll join us for the next one as well. Take care.